In this video, I'm going to show you how you can short on Binance. Before I show you how you can short, I do want to say a few things. The first is that shorting is really risky, so don't short unless you know what you're doing. Shorting's really only for experienced traders, and I would highly recommend sticking to just spot market trading if you're new, as you can get liquidated, meaning that you can lose your entire bankroll. The second is that what I'm about to show you in this video is meant for margin trading only. The process to short on margin in the spot market is very different than shorting on futures as that's a derivatives market. In addition, this video is for demonstration purposes only. What I do in this video is very simplistic and there are definitely other moving parts to shorting that can get complicated. The last thing is a brief explanation on what shorting is. Shorting is essentially profiting when the price goes down. If the price goes up, however, then you lose money. There are five steps involved with shorting, which are one, funding your or margin account, two, borrowing what you want to short, three, selling that on the market, four, buying back the amount that you've borrowed, and five, repaying back what you've borrowed plus interest. Now that I've explained the context behind shorting and what this video entails, let's begin. So I'm on the home screen of Binance, and the first thing that I'll need to do is transfer funds over to my margin account. The reason for this is because we need to put collateral up against any open positions because that's essentially what you're doing when you're shorting. You're borrowing against your collateral to put on a trade. So I'm going to go over here to wallet and then click on margin. After, it'll ask me if I want to put the funds into cross or isolated. Basically, this is asking me how I would like to collateralize my debt. Cross means across all of my assets that I've put into the account, while isolated means collateralizing against only specific coins that I've put into my isolated isolated trade pair account. For the purpose of this video, I'll just use cross to keep it simple. I'm then going to go over here to transfer and click on that. I'm then going to select from my fiat and spot into my cross margin account and I want USDT to transfer over so I'm going to click on max which is the 73 USDT that I have. I'm then going to click on confirm and there you go. You can see I've now got the 73 USDT in my cross margin account. This means that the $73 will be used to collateralize any borrowed amounts. So now that we've done step one, we need to borrow what we want to short. To do so, we'll go over here to trade and then click on margin after it'll bring us to this trade dashboard over here then what I'm going to do is let's just say I want to short Aave so I'm going to go over here click on this and select Aave and it'll then refresh the page to Aave also if your chart looks different by chance it's because mine's on full screen you can change your layout by going to this gear wheel over here and you can select full screen but more or less it doesn't really matter which one when you're on, the process is still the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this tab on the sell side. Now we first need to borrow. So I'm going to select the borrow tab, which is over here. Again, we don't have any Aave to sell at the moment. So we'll need to borrow it first to then sell. The next question is, are you wanting to market sell or sell at a specific price? If you're looking to sell at a specific price, then what you'll need to do is enter that price over here. But if you're looking to sell it on the open market immediately, then you'll need to click this tab over here where it says market. But let's just say that I'm interested in shorting Aave at the current price. So I'm going to leave it here at the market tab. I'm then going to enter in the amount of Aave or the USDT dollar amount that I'd like to short. So either here is the Aave amount or over here is the dollar amount that I'd like to sell. For myself, I'm going to short 0.1 Aave, so 0.1. I like what I see, and so I'm then going to click on margin sell Aave. It's asking if I want to borrow this amount over here. I like what I see, so I'm going to click on confirm, and there you go, I've just sold the 0.1 Aave. So pretty much, that's how you place a short position. Now, to close out your short position, you'll need to buy 
back what you've borrowed plus any outstanding interest. In order to do that, I would need to buy back that 0.1 Aave that I've just sold for hopefully cheaper. Normally, you would have limit orders set at a lower price than what you sold it for, but for demonstration purposes of this video, I'm going to just buy it back to close out my position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the buy tab. And again, I want to buy it right now. So I'm selecting market instead of limit and the amount would be 0.1 Ave. So 0.1 Ave. Also, because I'm repaying it, I want to select repay, which is over here. So I'm going to click on buy Ave, click on it. And it says I'm repaying back this 0.1 Ave that I've borrowed. And I'm going to click on confirm. And there we go. I've just closed out my short position. So pretty much that's how you can short on Binance. I went through the five steps of one, funding my margin account, two, borrowing what I wanted to short, three, selling on the open market, four, buying back the amount that I've borrowed, and five, repaying what I've borrowed plus interest. But in this case, there was no interest because it was an immediate repayment. Again, I do want to say that this video is just for demonstration purposes only, and that you wouldn't necessarily want to just market execute all the time on your trades. Normally, you'd want to put in some limit sell or limit buy orders. It just really depends on what your strategy or what type of trader you are. If you're new to trading, I would highly recommend watching this video here as it explains the differences among spot, margin, and futures trading. That way, you know what the fees and risks associated are with each market type.